Alright guys, Syphic back again. Now for the past couple of months I've been accumulating a bunch of Sega stuff that I've been finding at the, uh, you know, thrift stores or obviously as you can see the bags here, Goodwills, and a few things that I've picked up at uh, Frankenson's and on uh, Craigslist. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. Uh, I got this uh, Nights uh, Into Dreams uh, package. Stone with the 3D control pad and the game inside. Uh, I got this on eBay. I ended up winning it for, I think it was like 40 bucks shipped, which is pretty cool. Um, not too expensive. Um, it has the game and the controller inside, and it is new. The box is in okay condition, about, uh, about 8 out of 10. There's a few uh, tears here and there, but uh, all the contents inside are complete, and it is, like I said, new. Let's have a look here. Here is the game. That's Knights. And looks like there's a, a promotion for, um, I guess you would scratch this card and you can win some kind of a prize or something. Uh, but it is sealed. Got the uh, instruction booklet. Got the uh, mailer thing here. And the controller. Uh, like I said, it's new. Never been used. And I believe I got this, uh, yeah, it was, like 40, it was 40 bucks shipped on eBay. So, can add that to the other one that I just got. Was at a yard sale and picked up another Sega Saturn. And now, I already have the Model 2 in box that I showed in a previous video. This one is the Model 1 version. And yes, it was eight bucks, and nothing pisses me off more than when they write the price on the freaking box, man. They'll never learn. Um, maybe I'll just cover this up with a sticker or something. But yeah, this was eight bucks at a yard sale, and as you can see, at one point, the original price tag is still on there: two forty-nine ninety-nine Saturn Core Core System, and it's in great shape. It's com well, it's not complete. It's uh missing the uh, the uh, power and AV cables which I could just pick up anywhere um, why they priced this at 8 bucks and not like 10, 15, or 20 baffles me alright uh, and there we are it has the Panzer Dragoon playable uh, preview disc and it came with uh, bugs video game sampler or bug I guess and got the instruction manual and the console itself and it was a bit dusty but I already cleaned it up it's like I said, it's in mint condition as you can see here and this is the model one uh, there's the model one controller and just is missing the power cable and the video cable, which is no big deal. I could pick that up. So that was eight bucks. Thought that was a pretty cool deal. Set that aside. Uh, there was another ad I was looking at on Craigslist. Uh, some dude was selling a few games for fifteen bucks, and he said, "Buy the games, and I'll toss in my Sega Saturn for another five bucks." So for twenty bucks, I picked up another Sega Saturn. This is the Model Two. So I have a Model 1 box, the Model 2 box, and now I have this Bear um, Model 2, which is the one that I'm probably going to end up modding and stuff like that. So, And it's in really great shape and came with the cord. And the games that were included uh, was Daytona USA, Virtual Cop, and Virtua Fighter 2 and the game I really wanted was Sonic R and it's in open that up and the game's like it's like new um, so pretty cool so Sonic R and these three games and the system for 20 bucks so that was a really cool deal set that aside here Alright, and here are some random games that I've picked up. One of Frankenson's uh, the other day. 
and they had Alex Kidd in Shinobi World in freaking mint condition for 25 bucks. And I had to pick that up. And it is the blue label. Alex Kidd in Shinobi World. Blue label with manual. Really cool. Alright. Went to a thrift store and found Teddy Boy, the card game, which is awesome to add to the collection. Oh, they also had Alex Kidd, The Lost Stars. Uh, it's a little beat up though, but uh, has the manual. So that's pretty cool. And there was a little eBay lot. Uh, two games. Um, but I got these for a really cool price. I believe both of these were 15 bucks. Um, I got Double Dragon. And this one is uh, also, like I said, in excellent condition. And it is complete in box with manual. And I got Miracle Warriors also in mint condition. Complete in box with manual. So I can't wait to play that. Alright, now let's get to the Goodwill stuff. Um, I've been pretty much terrorizing all the local Goodwills and stuff. And uh, like I said, I have so many Goodwills on the way home. And uh, I commute about 40 miles each way to and from work, so about 80 miles a day. In between two routes that I take, there's about three to four Goodwills. And I just, you know, stop at each one and I find a bunch of stuff. So let's open up the first bag of Goodwill stuff. Alright, yesterday actually, went to a Goodwill in Covina and uh, found Space Harrier. And that was $2.99. And it is complete game and manual. And World Grand Prix, also $2.99. And you can see the date there, one twenty one eleven. So these were sitting in the counter for a little bit. Luckily I walked in. Perfect timing and was able to pick these up. So two more games to add to the Sega collection. Uh, went to another Goodwill where I had seen these games here. Um, and I thought they were a little pricey so I went ahead and uh, waited. Put them back and went back when they were half off. So I got uh, Sega CD. NHL 94. It was originally $4.99. Got it for half of that, so it was a $2.50. And it, they're like new. Um, they have the sponge and everything, and the games are in mint condition. Got Jurassic Park, same thing, $4.99. So I got that for half off, so that was $2.50. Also complete. See the little tags that they put on there. A little sponge and everything. So Jurassic Park. And for the Sega Saturn. Star Fighter, also $4.99. It was half price, since the red tag was the half off. Uh, once again, also new. Styrofoam, game complete. So that was another cool deal. Alright, let's go ahead and check this one out. We got uh, SimCity 2000 uh, for $2.99. Uh, and it is complete and new. You can see the uh, instructions, sponge, and the game. No scratches or anything. And they had a random, uh, looks like a Mega Drive game. You can tell by the rivets on the side. And this is uh, Final Blow. And this was $2.99. It's in Japanese. Not sure what it was doing out there, but uh, pretty cool. And the last bag I got here. Let's see. Uh, one other Goodwill. I found Wonder. All oh, right, sorry about that, guys. Battery died on this one. Uh, yeah, once again, Wonder Boy in Monsterland. This was $3.99. And the uh, only thing missing is the manual, but the game is there. If anyone has an extra Wonder Boy and Monster Land manual, hit me up so I can make this one complete. There you go. And let's see what else we got here. 
Gotta show some Genesis love here. Got Elemental Master. Uh, this was $3.99. And this is a video rental game. You can tell by these stickers that unfortunately will not come off. And the ones they seem to put on the game carts themselves. And Gunstar Heroes. It was also $3.99. And this one is another video rental. But it is complete. Just sucks they put these stickers on because they don't come off. Uh, but that's manual and everything complete. And last but not least, we've got Virtua Fighter 2 for the Saturn. This is another game that was uh, $4.99 and was half off. So I got this for $2.99. Actually, $2.50. And once again, uh, it is complete. No scratches. And the final game of this massive Sega pickup is Bug for the Saturn. Another one of those 4 and games that was half off. And this one is complete as well. So yeah, so a bunch of stuff here. Got uh, some Genesis. Two Saturns, Knights, and a bunch of uh, games here. So, if anyone wants to do some trades or anything, anyone looking for some of this stuff, hit me up. And uh, mainly looking for Turbo Graphics stuff. Um, you know, just whatever. Just send me your list of what you got. And uh, if you want to make some trades, hit me up. So, once again, this is Scific signing out. And, uh, you know, keeping the retro scene alive. Uh, and uh, like I said, hit me up if you guys have any questions or whatever. Uh, until the next video, this is Scific signing out late.